Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. So, Aldrin Volcarona, the uh, Poke Fair the, that came in the data download just a few days ago, um, in some sort of, you know, surprise data download, is uh, dropping tonight. So that's fun. <laughs> so, anyways, um, as usual, I will be summoning live for that. Uh, hopefully you get some good stuff in there. Um, you know, in addition to just uh, Alder Volcarona, hopefully I get a few... Uh, yeah, actually copies of some stuff that would be nice uh but yeah let's uh talk about this banner and and the unit in general right so Aldern Volcarona is again it's a pokey fair it's a striker and it is very good it is very very good so um for starters it's it's bug type um bug special striker right with the very very good stats as you can see like these are like just um, well, maybe not defense, but, you know, the HP, the special attack, the, you know, speed. These are all, like, really, really, you know, phenomenal numbers, right? Um, the defenses, they're not bad, but they're not, you know, anything great either. But, again, they're not bad. That's, you know, almost 120, right? Um, so, yeah, to start off very fast, uh, good, you know, special attack and really, really good HP. And as for its moves, it has Struggle Bug, which obviously, you know, AoE lower the opponent's special attack, which is very, very useful because on its Sync Grid, right, it does have over Overpower, which gives it a 30% uh, um, damage boost when the opponent uh, has minus 6 special attack. Obviously, generally, if you're trying to do damage with the Volcarona, you probably won't be using Struggle Bug, though. Um, you, It's probably a better idea to use something like a Lieutenant Surge or something on the side, or I guess Viola Masquerade. Um, to lower their special attack instead, right? That probably would be a better idea in that case. So, yeah, so you do have Struggle Bug. Oh, oh, on top of that, you also have Devastation, which is the same as, you know, um, mechanic as Struggle Bug, except this is to double your uh, sync move power, right? So, um, anyways, moving on, Dark Hit Plus, which is Dark Hit Plus, right? <laughs> plus three crit. Hyper Beam, which is same, you know, as Lance's, right? Hyper Beam, except this one gets bug shifted, so it's a bug type Hyper Beam. Instead of, you know, Lance's Dragon type Hyper Beam, which is pretty nice. Obviously, very, very, very high base power. Is this, I think this is the, what, the highest um, base power move in the game, right? Still. So, that's really, really nice. Um, and then the trainer move is very good, especially for, you know, co-op. Not that, again, co-op's a big deal right now. But, um, basically, gives you plus six special attack. And then plus two special defense and plus two speed. And then minus three on your defenses. So, it gives you enough um you know offense buffs right with the plus six special attack and the plus three plus four not that it matters right um that last one uh plus six special attack plus three crit uh good offensively and then gives you some plus two special defense which is nice as well right and then the speed which is very very good on top of the um your really really high speed the slight you know issue is uh that it also gives you minus three defense so physical defense wise um might be a bit you know troublesome there right if you want to run a skyler or something to or steelix a, a torterra to uh patch up that physical defense that'll be uh probably helpful um and since you don't really need any offensive buffers right you don't need any you know you don't need a sabrina for um volcarona well volcarona could get everything by uh by itself right and uh, yeah, the other thing is it only has one uses, which, again, you don't really need to use it more than once outside of Battleville, but again, Battleville is the place where you might want to use it more than once, but, uh, it's not like it's impossible to use more than once, you have move, you know, um, MP refresh on the grid, right, so moving on, um, nothing too special with the, uh, sync move, just 300 base power special bug sync move, um, as for your passive average, Juvenate 6, so every time you, uh, after you sync, you get your gauges back, which is good for a hyper beam and then adrenaline 2 first time you use your um sync move decreases your sync move countdown by two uh not extremely useful um unfortunately all right um moving on to the sync grid it has a lot of really really um uh, decent stuff in there like i mentioned for overpower right um devastation these are all you know solid nodes that 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 you could go for right um if you have the team comp for it, again, it depends on what you run with it, either you know, something like a Houndoom or, or Masquerade or, uh, you know, Lieutenant Surge or whatever else that, you know, decreases special attack relatively re reliably. That would be nice in this case scenario. As for some other stuff, you have, you have a lot of, like, weird, weird like, struggle bug nodes, 
got struggle bug super duper effective nine and then struggle, struggle bugs uh crit strike five so it so it makes it almost as powerful <laughs> as like a uh, you know heat wave or something right uh, or something close to that uh as a two gauge move um but again only you know if you crit all the time which you do you do crit you know all the time unless there's like crit shield that you can't remove uh, but also it has to be against bug types but it also you know gives the opponent uh, minus one uh, special attack every time you use it as well. So, you know, struggle bug is actually, you know, not a uh, terrible option, right? If you look at it. So as for some other stuff, however, uh, you do have hyper beam power ups, which is nice. Hyper, hyper beam accuracy nodes, obviously those are nice. Got two move gauge refreshes for hyper beam, right? There's cool flame proof, so you don't get burned. Um, I mean, not that big of a deal, I guess. Unless you're just like fighting like anti with that hostile environment, like nine heat wave or something. Uh, power reserves too, eh, not a huge fan. Um, MP refresh on the trainer move, and then you got hit and heal on the trainer move, which are, you know, both very very nice, right? Um, nothing, it's just nothing um, too interesting on the grid, but they're all really really solid uh, nodes, right? Uh, really solid nodes to pick up. So here's the thing about the banner and the unit as well. Obviously, as you can see, the, the unit is very very powerful. Um, few things to consider tonight, right? If you're going for this unit or not. Um, the first thing I would probably you know keep in mind is, do you have uh, Steven and Cynthia, uh, or Steven or Cynthia, right? I guess. Um, and do you have them at obviously you know a good enough um, sync move level, right? Um, I do personally suggest going for like new units. Um, over sync move level again it depends on the unit specifically right um, but generally it's better to pick up something new right um, uh, in a, you know, as opposed to something you could maybe in the future just level up with move candy or whatever right if we do eventually get all the move candy coins uh, for some and uh, the other thing is uh, is that you know uh, they are coming on I think the 22nd right if I remember correctly um, as good as Alder and Volcarona is, and Alder, Alder and Volcarona is very, very good, um, Cynthia and Stephen, both of them are, uh, also extremely, extremely powerful, right? Um, those two are, are, you know, the top strikers in the game, um, straight up, right? And the other thing I do want you to sort of consider is, um, in terms of that banner, right? Uh, this Alder Volcarona should be a 2% rate. Right, um, so, uh, b b b b uh, but on the other hand, right, also being a pokey fair, right, um, the Steven Cynthia one, again, this is not confirmed, just just my guess, but it might be a 3% combined rate, because so far all the dual banners that we've been getting um, recently have all been w split 1.5% rates, that's obviously, you know, a total of 3% rates, and that means you will have a 1% higher chance to pull a featured unit on that one, however, um, you know, you do the run, you do run the risk of pulling the one that you don't want, um, if, 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 um, if you already have one of those two, uh, at three out of five, right? Which is a slight issue there. However, um, I do think if you don't have, um, one of them or, or, um, if you don't have, uh, either of them, you know, uh, max out, or if you don't have any of them at all, right? That is, uh, in my opinion, much better banner because that leads to my other point, which is, um, Alder Volcanorona, very, very good, right? I think everyone gets that by now. Um, we do have a decent amount of bug type tractors in the game. Uh, we have obviously the Egg Scyther, which is fantastic. Uh, Luzamine, which is incredible, right? Uh, Guzma, which is still serviceable. And, and, and Berg, which is very good as well, right? We got a lot of options on in terms of like bug type strikers, right? That are not limited units. Do keep in mind, this is a limited unit, right? So there is that to consider. And on the other hand, right, Steven, Cynthia, steel type, ground type, both of these two, we don't have as much. Obviously, there are you know, now two you know, free to play steel types, but Metagross is just so incredibly powerful, right? Um, I guess it's more so the ground type, right, uh, Cynthia, um, or Garchomp, right? So there is also that to consider uh, as well, right? So I'm just saying, like in terms of like these two banners, I do think the uh, dual Pokefair banner might be better. Um, again, it's not better if you have or you know have those both at like two two uh, you know two out of five, three out of five, or whatever, right? Um, but 
for most people, I'd assume, who don't wail on the game, I do think that's probably a much better banner. And one last thing I do want to caution as well is, um, December, we might get some big stuff in December, just because, uh, you know, obviously, you know, Christmas and all that, right? Um, but, like, last year, like, we didn't get any, like, really, really fantastic banners, per se, in December, but we did... Uh, gets, like, a lot of, like, really, really hype, uh, you know, events and stuff. Uh, December, New Year's time, right, between, uh, that. Well, actually, uh, we did get some really, really big stuff at New Year's, right? Um, Cynthia and, and Steve, uh, not Steve and Lance. Cynthia and Steve and Lance for, um, no, no. No, Steve, why, why am I keep on saying Steven? Cynthia and Lance, um, for the first time, right? Uh, so maybe you want to save up some gems just in case, right? Um, even if you are, you know, planning to summon on the Cynthia Steven banner, um, should probably be a much better idea if you wait till, like, the last few days before you summon on it, just in case, you know, we get a, which we very, very, very likely will get data download for next month, right? So you'll see what happened there before, uh, you go for those, so, and, uh, yeah, same thing, you know, here, right, with Volcarona. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, that's what we do this one, I guess, hope you guys enjoy, let me know guys in the comments down below. Like and enjoy this video, we're on channel for some more Poem Masters content, and again, I will be streaming the summons live uh, tonight, so uh, hopefully I don't get chapped on that, because that will be very, very unfun. Um, personally, I'm not a fan of getting chapped on the banners, <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.